I'm Tessa. I'm Olivia. And welcome to the first Underdog Approved video. In Underdog Approved, we judge movies, TV shows, and other stories on how they represent minorities, women, LGBT characters, and all underdogs. Then we give the story a score and our underdog rating. Today we're going to talk about how Love Actually, Actually Sucks. Love Actually is a movie that was made in 2003. It's set in England with an like mostly English cast. It follows nine to ten different love stories in the five weeks leading up to Christmas. Because there are so many plot lines in this movie, we have code names for these them. <laughs> Liam Neeson and his stepson, Snape and his secretary, slash Snape and his wife, the prime minister and his secretary, the writer and his cleaning lady, the husband, the wife, and the best man, the singer dude and his manager, Clark Kent and Anne of Green Gables, and her brother, ugly Ryan, and then like, the <laughs> porn guys. Love Actually does not have one LGBT relationship. There are nine to ten mm -hmm. different plot lines and they're all straight white people. <laughs> <laughs> there are two instances of referenced LGBT oh. and then there's a random uncalled for transvestite Barbie joke. It's so random. The only people of color were useless side characters, singers at the wedding, or there was like a group hanging out on the side of a highway. But instead of delving really deep into the LGBT or race aspects of this movie, we're gonna delve into the gold mine, <laughs> is the sexism in Love Actually. <laughs> we like to start here with every movie. Mm -hmm. I don't think that this movie passed the Bechdel test. <laughs> All of the women in this movie were idealized. Not only visually, which is very obvious if you look at it, but also they're often described as perfect by the guy who loves them. The same scene, this guy objectifies a whole handful of other women. While he's professing his love to a married woman, and it was just like, maybe with any luck, instead of you, I'll go out with one of these women. There was that random scene. It just cuts to Snape's secretary in her house. She strips from her dress to her underwear in one second, walks off camera, and then the scene cuts away. What was the point of that? It had nothing to do with the No plot. point. Nothing. Then there was that <laughs> uncalled for scene with the singer dude and all of his band of female Oh samples. my god. Then there's a scene. The writer guy, all of his papers go flying into a oh lake. Oh my god. And this mm -hmm. cleaning lady who works for him strips down to her underwear unnecessarily. Yeah, with the camera taking like shots of like zoomed in, her like slowly pulling off her shirt. He goes in after her. Fully clothed. Yep. But so we got three major accounts of this. Women working for the men. The writer and his cleaning lady. Snape and his secretary. And we have the prime minister and his secretary. Multiple secretaries. Please let me work for you, handsome man. There's a lot to talk about the prime minister and his secretary. He begins to like her as like a mutual work like. Then she's sexually harassed. And she's just standing there being like, don't touch me, I'm just a woman. <laughs> the Prime Minister walks in in the nick of time and like, kind of saves her from it. And then later, she apologizes for it. She's talking to him and she's like, I'm so sorry that that man sexually harassed me. And he's like, it's okay, I forgive you. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> When there was like, the sexual tension between them in the office, he goes to her boss and asks her to be moved to a, a different job yep. because he can't keep it in his pants. You know Natalie works here? I'm sure she's a lovely girl, but I, I wonder if you could, um, redistribute her. I think the Experience. entire movie was centered around this concept of the last minute grand romantic gesture. Absolutely! It happened in every single story! We have three major accounts of the man professing his love for the woman at the last second and then getting rewarded with a kiss. Back to the cleaning lady and the writer guy. They haven't spoken the same language for the entire movie. Then, he learns Portuguese, and the first full sentence he speaks to her is, Will you marry me? And she's immediately like, Yes, oh of course god. I'll marry you! And Not like, Do you want to go out for dinner? Like, no! Oh my god! Yeah! Mm -hmm. We have the Prime Minister barging in on his secretary's family thing and being like, I love you, and then they like make out on stage. The like freaking seven year old boy who breaks the law <laughs> goes through airport security to confess to some other girl, like, oh, I love you. She comes running back all the way out to the front mm -hmm. to kiss him on the cheek. And then she just goes, is that, nope, no comfort. And then the, end. the married couple and the best man. This is like my least favorite. The no, best man freaking shows up to the married couple's house, professes his love to the <laughs> wife. Freaking idiot. 
He's like, oh, I love you, you're so perfect, and blonde, and pretty, and I like filming you. And then, he goes walking away, and she like, runs out, and freaking kisses him. And she just found out that he likes her. After her thinking for years that he hated her. Ugh. Okay, let's talk about Ugly Ryan. We call him Ugly Ryan because Ryan from High School Musical is more attractive, but they look scarily similar. He makes this plan in his little peanut brain. I've just worked out why I can never find true love. Why's that? English girl. They're stuck up, you see. Then I am primarily attractive to girls who are, you know, cooler. Game for a laugh. Like American girls. So I should just go to America. He goes to Wisconsin, and the first night he's there, three to four are very attractive American women. Yeah. Go over to him and go, you're British? We'll have sex with you. I was waiting the whole time for his plan to fall flat, for them to like rob him yeah. or turn out to be prostitutes. It's like you think he'd go there and like flirt with some girl and she'd like smack him in the face So guess what? No. No. His plan just worked. It worked. Because all women are pretty and slutty mm -hmm. and will just sleep with you if you have yep. a cool accent. And then he goes back to England and brings girls with him. One of them greets his friend. Without speaking a word to his friend, she walks up grabs him by the face and just starts like making out with him. Yeah. Like, oh, nice to meet you, I'm blonde. The best parts of this movie were when Emma Thompson finds out Snape, her husband, is cheating on her. Yeah, she like actually sticks up for herself, which we have not seen one woman do in this whole movie. If you were in my position, what would you do? Would you stay? Knowing life would always be a little bit worse. Or would you cut and run? But it turns out, a month later, they're still married. Yeah! Somehow, in this goddamn movie, <laughs> the two porn stand-ins had the most goddamn equal, equal relationship, relationship in the out of whole everybody. goddamn movie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's why I love Actually. Uh, actually sucks. <laughs> we at Underdog are proud to give this movie a negative 71.5. We award this movie an Underdog Hell, hell no. no! These Underdog Proof videos are gonna come out every other Friday. We did hate on this movie a lot, but don't worry. We won't hate on every movie or TV show that we talk about. So if you have a show <laughs> or a book or a movie or any type of story you would like us to talk about, please comment below. If you think that we missed any key points in this movie, please let us know because we'd love to hear what you have to say. <laughs> well, hey there, it's Zach. Thanks for watching whatever video that was. Uh, while you're here, why don't you hit the like button and leave a comment down below, but be careful because I'm a writer and I will give each comment a letter grade based on spelling, grammar, sentence structure, creativity, and storytelling. And if you want more of this fresh hot content served straight up to you, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss an upload.